up everybody this is your girl divine shay and welcome back to the heavenly squad as you can tell by the title of this video i am well as you can tell um, i'm not in my normal setting right now but that's okay um but as you can tell by the title of this video i am talking about colorists i'm seeing a bunch of colorists on social media um, such as Instagram, YouTube, and whatnot, and I'm going to speak on that in just a second. But before we get into that, please make sure you subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and also that little notification bell so you'll be notified of when I come to you guys with new video and new content of any sort. And also feel free to visit the description box where you'll find all my social media pages and go ahead and go visit those as well. You know what I'm saying? Show your girls some love. Mad love, mad love. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. If it, if it gets disconnected or pauses or anything, I'll come back with another clip. My battery's dead and also my storage is full. So yeah, but anyways, <laughs> that's out the way. Uh, what I would like to say, I did a poll on Instagram and I asked them would they like me to finally do my video on colors. And they said yes. It, that got the most votes. So I took it as they said yes. Um... <laughs> my thing is this um for all y'all who don't know i didn't even know myself um it's not none of y'all's business how i found out but me myself i'm not fully black i duh nobody's fully anything in today's time but i have hispanic or if you want to call it mexican whatever you know latino whatever you like to say in my blood um half half you know what i'm saying um, due to some DNA, some beep, <laughs> I almost cursed, DNA papers. But that does not make me no better than the next person. I identify myself as an African American, and if I ever did say that I was any other race, I would say Afro Latina. So therefore, I would identify as both races. But I feel like this in today's time, people overrate races way too much. They overrate your skin tone and all that. Like that is really a, a, irrelevant to anything in life like okay i see so many successful people out here and their melanin is popping boo popping like what your skin tone does not define you it don't matter how bright you are your career will not go nowhere it don't matter how dark you are your career might not go nowhere you know what i'm saying it's all about your soul and your heart and what's within like i'm so sick of seeing the, the black community is the main community I'm speaking on right now. The African-American uh, community. I'm so sick of seeing us downgrade each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you cute now, but your hair is kind of nappy. You know what I'm saying? I got that good silky hair. Okay, well, pull at it. Let me see if it's real. You know what I'm saying? And even if it is real, do you have to go and insult the next person just because you feel like you're better than them? Like, I don't, I feel like... Sorry, you guys i accidentally hit something on my camera and messed everything up but i am back i feel like you're not no better than nobody else you know what i'm saying so you need to like actually get your ish together and realize that you know at some point in life just realize that you're not no better than anybody else so stop thinking that you are because you're not the ish and you is not popping like that okay um I don't know if this goes on in the Caucasian community or just the pure Latino community. I don't know if it goes on with you guys, but if it does, colorist, being a colorist is just being a colorist, point blank, period. I don't care how you try to put it, how you try to label it. It's no good colorist. There's no bad colors. It's just bad, period, period, period. You feel me? Like, it's not cute. It's not cute at all. Like... When I was little, I used to uh, feel bad, you know what I'm saying, because I did get bullied for, you know, different things, you know what I'm saying, but at a certain point in life, my hair didn't look as, you know, beautiful and whatnot as it always did, you know, when my mom was doing it, because, you know, I got to a point in life where I thought I was grown and I started doing my own hair. Well, my mom stopped doing my hair. She let me be grown. 
So my hair wasn't as silky and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? It got really kinky and frizzy and stuff like that. So there was times I got called nappy-headed, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? And it hurt my feelings. So what we got to think about in today's generation and today's time, bullying is, bullying is very bad in the schools and anywhere, you know? just It's not just schools. It's bad in the LGB, uh, I forgot how the word, but it's bad in their community. You know, they get judged for same-sex stuff and it's bad with people's weight. It's bad with their color. It's bad with anything. You know what I'm saying? Bullying is. So being a colorist, adding on to that bullying stuff that's already going on in the world, it makes it bad. And then it makes suicide rates go up and stuff like that. And we don't want that. You know what I'm saying? We are all God's creation no matter what shade we are. We are all God's creation. And what needs to be realized and understood is this. At the beginning and the end of the day, your color does not define you, okay? Because, baby, look, why you thinking you popping because you bright skin? Um, boom. God can swap your color overnight. And then, what? You be dark, what, you gonna, you gonna assume you're ugly? Are you gonna talk about yourself? Like, really, are you gonna do all these things? Like, it's not fair and it's not right and don't nobody have the right to say whether you're ugly, you're beautiful or whatnot. Because you know what God, like I said a while ago, made all of us. God thinks all of us are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? If you think you're ugly, that's something that you got to deal with within yourself. And if you don't think you're ugly, but you have this problem with thinking that you're just so darn beautiful and you think you're better than everybody else, let me tell you something. That makes you ugly. That makes you completely freaking ugly because you think you the ish and you pop and your sh don't stink. Let me tell you, your sh do stink and it don't smell like roses. It smells like boo, boo, boo. Okay? Like, that was... I've been wanting to make this video for the longest. You know what I'm saying? There's several YouTubers. Look up the video about YouTubers who are colorists. And y'all are going to be shocked and surprised at the YouTubers who they point out. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm almost done. I'll be out the bath. I'll be out here bathroom in just a second. I'm sorry. Um, but no, uh, my thing is this, like at the beginning and the end of the day, it needs to stop. Because when I watched the video about the YouTubers who were colorist, there's some that I love with all my heart and I follow them. I've been following them for the longest and that video could have made me stop following them. But, you know, I just give them to God. But talking about your own race, talking about little nappy headed girls from your childhood and your hair wasn't like theirs when you were little and stuff. That's not cute for one. For two... You black yourself. And when your hair is not straight and not combed, because I just seen a video of you just a while ago when you was with your ex. <laughs> your hair is nappy too. So let's not go there, boo-boo. Let's not go there. And I don't care about what anybody got to say about my hair because guess what? I do videos showing my hair nappy, natural, curly, straight. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So anyways, with that being said, I don't want to keep y'all too long, but y'all need to spread this video because it's making me sick how the same race are turning against each other. Any race can be a colors, but it's bad in the African-American community right now, and that needs to be fixed. I'm tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. Like, it got me wanting to rip off my eyelashes right now, my wig. Like, I can't take this. But I ain't going to do all that right now, you know what I'm saying? We're good. It took me too long to get myself all cute. I got myself all cute and dolled up today, you know, so my man could see me looking good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> but no, for real though, y'all needs to do something about that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying just y'all as in one person, y'all as in everybody in the United States of America. <laughs> America. Of America and outside of America. We all as a whole need to join together and stop this colorist stuff. If you're with me, you're with me and hit that like button, share this video, please. But that's just about all I have to say on this topic for right now because I'm just really, I don't want to get deep in it because I will get deep in it. Forget that I'm recording for y'all right now and start saying stuff that I should not say. And you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Just leave it at that. 
but no anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please thumbs it up please make sure you share this because this is something serious that's going on in the world so please share this video also make sure if you have any questions comments or concerns or any new video ideas or anything that you would like to see me do leave it down below in the comment box and i promise you i will get back to it but please if you have not yet joined the heavenly squad Please make sure you do so right now by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. Make sure post notifications are always turned on on all my social media pages so you will not miss a beat. But anyways, with that being said, remember, if nobody else loves you guys, God loves you and I love you. So have a blessed day, night, morning, whatever it may be where you are around the world. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Mwah!